tell us the story of where so, this came from. Okay, so I've heard it from several different places. One of the um, people that have told me this, that I've spoken to directly about it, is Eddie Trunk, who has everybody, uh, who knows Eddie, knows that he was friends with uh, Ronnie James Dio and continues to support charities that were created after his death. And so, uh, so Eddie's a pretty reliable source. And I had also read this in in uh, different articles and whatnot. And um, it it what this really is, it's a um, if uh, the, so. The story goes when Ronnie James Dio was a little boy, his grandmother was this older Italian lady and she would walk him down the street holding his hand and if she thought somebody was giving her the evil eye she would do this back at them to cancel out the hex of the evil eye so what this is is actually a good sign that that cancels out evil so if someone's saying that this is the sign of the devil i think where that idea came from is motley Cruz shout at the devil and people were doing this because they were already doing it at rock concerts because Ronnie James Dio had been doing this since his days in Richie Blackmore's Rainbow, before he got into Black Sabbath, before he became a solo uh, solo artist. So this is actually a good thing, and if you feel like someone's giving you the evil eye on the street, which is a hex, this blocks the evil eye from you, <laughs> right? So in a way, it's like in uh, din Dinner for Schmucks, when they were having uh, the brain force blo <laughs> blocks. <laughs> That blocks yeah. the evil eye. Yeah. So this is not a sign of evil, and so and it's funny because when I started. So if a deer has that sixth sense, and when that buck just does that, <laughs> you got to just go. Right. It blocks it. They can't see you. You become it's instant invisibility. <laughs> I for, love it. With clothed in uh, cloaked in goodness, you know, when you do that. I'm gonna so. do that next time something just freaking <laughs> pins me in the tree. I'm just gonna go. Right. Get, get, you can't see me now. You're all evil is If gone. we can get that on camera, Caleb, where I do that and something goes like... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, it worked! It worked! That, yeah, but that's that's the story and that's legit. And uh, there's, there's no... Uh, you know, it's, it's again, if people don't do their research and they don't actually look up something that they hear about. But like I said, you know, part of that does come from Motley Crue's Shout at the Devil and all the... Motley Crue fans doing this while they're playing that song. That's probably how some evil got attached to it, I'm sure. But, oh, yeah. um, but that is not the original thing, and that is not where it came from, and that is not what it means. Someone put a spin on it. How mm -hmm. dare they? Mm -hmm.